Stand by. Loading. What is up, YouTube? This is Nanashi here to talk about the brand new ban list for the TCG that goes into effect on May 21st. Which is very awkward timing considering I just made a video talking about how I was going to be waiting for the next ban list and a few other things to happen before I made any new videos and lo and behold, one day later, they released it. Happy birthday to me, I guess. So let's go ahead and get started. Seven cards were put on the ban list. Astrogress Sorcerer, completely banned. I'm not surprised by this in the least. It's way too easy to abuse in pretty much any Pendulum deck as far as gathering resource. And for the 1% of you that actually used Astrograph's effect to fuse into Zark, don't worry, Chronograph Sorcerer still does the same thing. Masterpiece. Can anyone really say they were surprised about this one either? It is the boss monster of one of the most annoying, in my opinion, archetypes in existence. Getting rid of it not only unlocks a lot of other cards being able to come back, it also makes the deck as a whole fair. I mean, sure, you can't use its disruption effect, but if you're looking to use a protection boss, I'm pretty sure Metaltron does the same thing. Phoenixian Cluster Amaryllis. I hate that the card was abused. It was actually a... Okay, it wasn't decent in any sense, but unfortunately, burn OTKs are a problem. Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom. Copying burn effects out of the graveyard is what caused this card to get banned. Ancient Fairy Dragon. I hate seeing this card get banned. But it was unfortunately necessary because there are too many powerful field spells with soft ones per turn effects that give way too much advantage. Namely the True King True Draco one. Rank Up Magic Argent Chaos Force. I did not understand why this card was banned for the longest time, but based on the research I did and several people giving me the information afterwards when I failed, I found out it was because of the Utopic Zexel abuse. And when I heard that, I thought to myself, okay, I actually run that card in one of my decks. I completely understand now. And that grass looks greener. After that card got put down to one, I barely ever got the opportunity to even play it in the one deck I ran it in. So putting it at banned status really doesn't change much for my decks. Now there are three cards that were put on the one list. Dynamite Knight, the true Draco fighter went back to one. I'm perfectly fine with this because the boss monster of the deck has been banned, so there's no real reason to hold them back anymore. Now, Gem Knight Master Diamond? Again, OTK burn combos were kind of a problem, and this does limit it a little bit. Not a tremendous amount, but enough to where it can technically slow it down. Chain Strike? Well, how many times can a guy say burn deck in one video before it ends up getting annoying? Now, the cards that were put to two are Apocaliport Towers, which I guess makes sense. I kind of don't like Apocaliport Towers as a whole, just because it seems too powerful. But in the archetype that it's actually ran in, it's overall fair-ish. And Ring of Destruction? Ugh. You fix one burning problem and then you cause another, don't you, Konami? Seriously though, this card isn't as bad as it used to be with the Errata, so I guess it's okay. I just don't like seeing too many burn cards in the game at one time. And now being put to three, we have six cards. Atlantean Dragoons, I'm pretty sure that's actually for the incoming Mermail Link. Grand Soil the Elemental Lord, with its errata, it's not as bad of a problem, I suppose, and they want to make sure that the new Element Saver, Elemental Lord stuff actually sells, so I guess it makes sense. Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior, going from 1 to 3, again, makes sense because the big boss monster is gone, so there's really no reason to restrict that one. Mathematician coming back to 3, I'm fine with that. I am a little bit afraid that now that we have the Shadal Link and we have this, Shadals might see a Surge. Definitely not anything to put them near meta status, but enough to make them a bit of an annoyance. And as an avid Shadal player in my 60 card dark deck, I perfectly approve of this. I don't know, maybe my opinion is biased. Neospace and Grand Mole coming back to 3. I like this because it gives us the ability to break certain unbreakable boards. It's not a perfect answer by any means, but it's enough of one to where people who run oddball rock decks or maybe even a deck with the new Neo Spatian support could stand a chance. And Compulsory Evacuation Device. Not gonna lie, I'm really happy to see this card back to three because even though it targets, it does remove without destroying and it doesn't put it in the graveyard or vanish it. And now it can join its brother's Bottomless Trap Hole and Torrential Tribute as back to three status. So that's my opinion of the ban list. Overall, I appreciate everything they did with the hits. I don't really have any major problems with it, and the only one card that really even affected me was that grass, but as I said, it barely matters to me because I almost never saw it anyways. 
I thank you guys for watching the video, and if you agree or disagree with anything I've said in this video, feel free to let me know. But in the meantime, this has been Nanashi, signing out. What's the next stage? What's the next stage?